we need to improve community well-being and one way that we do it is by improving their health which in turn also protects the gorillas. Once you show that people that you care about their health, which is a basic human right actually, not only a human need, um, they, they, you make them feel that, okay, you care about me, so I'm gonna care about the forest, the gorillas and the other species in the habitat. After some time, we felt that we can't only just treat the gorillas when they're sick. We need to try and address the cause. You know, they'll keep picking up more and more diseases due to the poor hygiene in the community. Unfortunately, a gorilla was killed by a hungry poacher in June 2020. Poaching went up drastically because tourism went down and people were really dependent on tourists just to feed themselves. And so we felt that maybe we needed to start supporting them with fast growing seedlings so that they have something to eat. As long as they're being fed, they shouldn't be thinking about going into the forest. I'm really humbled that our One Health approach to conservation that we've been championing for so many years is really being seen as a relevant approach to bring about great impact for conservation and sustainable development. And I feel that the Champions of the Earth Award has brought a lot of attention to our work and it's going to make it easier for us to expand our impact to other areas where gorillas are found, but also to other habitats where other wildlife species are found.